Have you ever stopped to ponder the lifestyle we lead today? It's like we're constantly caught in a whirlwind of materialism and consumerism, chasing after fleeting pleasures that ultimately leave us feeling empty. You know the feeling, right? It's as if we're running on a never-ending treadmill, and with each passing moment the pace only seems to quicken. In this hustle and bustle, I've noticed some habits that have become all too common, and they're not doing us any favors when it comes to our mental well-being. As someone striving to live in accordance with Islamic teachings, I can't help but reflect on these habits through the lens of my faith and consider how I can make positive changes for a more balanced and fulfilling life. Let's talk about mornings, for instance. Do you find yourself mindlessly scrolling through your phone or booting up your laptop the moment you wake up? I know I've been guilty of it. But have you ever considered how this habit affects your cognitive function and productivity throughout the day? I've certainly felt the effects firsthand. In Islam, there's a beautiful emphasis on starting each day with gratitude and remembrance of Allah. Incorporating simple morning rituals, like reciting specific supplications and basking in the natural light of dawn, has helped me cultivate mindfulness and set a positive tone for the day ahead. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of starting each day with gratitude and remembrance of Allah. The best supplication in the morning is, he said, O oh Allah, grant me beneficial knowledge, abundant sustenance, and cure from all diseases. This highlights the significance of beginning our day with positive intentions and seeking blessings from the Almighty. In today's hyper-connected world, many of us have developed a reflexive habit of reaching for our phones or laptops the moment we wake up. This habit not only inundates our minds with information overload, but also disrupts our circadian rhythm, leading to decreased cognitive function and productivity. The Quran reminds us, and of his signs is your sleep by night and day and your seeking of his bounty. Indeed in that are signs for a people who listen. 3023. By prioritizing the nurturing of our sleep and waking up in a state of mindfulness, we align ourselves with the natural rhythm of creation. To counteract the harmful effects of technology-driven distractions, it is essential to establish a morning routine grounded in Islamic principles. One simple yet profound habit we can incorporate is basking in the morning light within 10-15 minutes after waking up. This practice not only enhances our sleep quality, but also boosts our mood and productivity by stimulating the release of hormones such as norepinephrine and epinephrine. By embracing the natural light of dawn, we align ourselves with the divine order and invite blessings into our day. Furthermore, Islam emphasizes the importance of mindfulness and presence in all aspects of life. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, whoever begins his day feeling family security and good health and possessing provision for his day is as though he possessed the whole world. By starting our day with gratitude and mindfulness, we cultivate a positive mindset that enables us to navigate the challenges ahead with resilience and strength. Then there's the autopilot mode we often find ourselves in, going through the motions without any real sense of purpose or passion. Can you relate? It's like we're sleepwalking through life, just trying to get by. But Islam teaches us to infuse purpose and intentionality into everything we do, whether it's our work or our daily responsibilities. Living life on autopilot is a phenomenon that many of us can relate to in today's fast-paced world we find ourselves caught in a never-ending cycle of routine, going through the motions without stopping to consider the deeper purpose and meaning behind our actions. As Muslims, it is essential for us to reflect on this tendency and strive to live with intentionality and mindfulness in accordance with the teachings of Islam. Recent studies have highlighted the importance of brain health in our overall well-being. Researchers have developed tools such as the Brain Care Scorecard to assess factors that contribute to cognitive function and mental clarity. However, one aspect that is often overlooked in discussions of brain health is the role of purpose in our lives. Islamic teachings emphasize the significance of finding purpose and meaning in all aspects of life. The Quran states, and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Quran 51-56. This verse highlights the ultimate purpose of human existence 
which is to worship and serve Allah. However, worship in Islam is not limited to ritual acts of devotion. It encompasses every aspect of our lives, including our work and daily responsibilities. Many of us spend the majority of our waking hours engaged in work-related activities. However, all too often, we find ourselves stuck in jobs that we dislike or find unfulfilling. We may view work as a means of survival rather than an opportunity for personal growth and fulfillment. Islam teaches us that our work should be a source of satisfaction and purpose, not merely a means to an end. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer, while there is good in both. Strive for that which will benefit you, seek the help of Allah and do not feel helpless. Written in Sahih Muslim. This hadith underscores the importance of striving for excellence in all aspects of life including our professional endeavors. When we approach our work with sincerity and dedication, seeking to make a positive impact and serve others, we fulfill our purpose as believers. However, finding purpose in our work is not always easy. It requires introspection and self-discovery, as well as a willingness to explore new interests and passions. Islam encourages us to seek fulfillment beyond the confines of our professional obligations engaging in hobbies and creative pursuits that nourish the soul and bring joy to the heart. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Take up good deeds only as much as you are able, for the best deeds are those done regularly even if they are few, reference Sunan ibn Majah. This hadith highlights the importance of consistency and dedication in our pursuits. By investing time and energy into hobbies and interests that resonate with our values and aspirations, we can cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment that transcends the monotony of everyday life. Then comes escapism. How often do you find yourself mindlessly binge-watching or scrolling through endless content on your phone just to escape from reality? It's become all too easy to lose ourselves in these distractions, isn't it? But Islam reminds us of the importance of mindfulness and moderation in all aspects of life. In today's digital age, Escapism has taken on new forms, with binge-watching emerging as a favoured pastime for many. With the advent of streaming services offering endless entertainment options at our fingertips, it has become increasingly common to lose ourselves in the virtual world of television shows and movies. However, as Muslims, it is important for us to reflect on the consequences of this behaviour and consider how it aligns with our faith. Binge-watching may seem like a harmless form of relaxation, offering an easy and inexpensive means of escaping from the stresses of everyday life. However, the reality is that it can have detrimental effects on our mental and spiritual well-being. The phenomenon of second screening, in which viewers simultaneously engage with their mobile phones while watching television, has become pervasive in our society. This practice not only diminishes our ability to focus and concentrate, but also has been shown to have negative impacts on brain health. Islamic teachings emphasize the importance of mindfulness and self-awareness in all aspects of life. The Qur'an states, O you who have believed, fear Allah, and let every soul look to what it has put forth for tomorrow, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what you do. Qur'an 59.18 This verse reminds us of the importance of being conscious of our actions and their consequences, both in this world and the hereafter. Engaging in mindless activities which detract from our ability to fulfill our responsibilities and worship Allah runs counter to the teachings of Islam. Furthermore, the practice of multi-screening, whether it be while working, watching television, or scrolling through social media, detracts from our ability to be fully present in the moment. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the likeness of the one who remembers his Lord and the one who does not remember him is like that of a living to a dead person, Sahih al-Bukhari. This hadith highlights the importance of mindfulness and remembrance of Allah in our daily lives. When we allow ourselves to become absorbed in distractions, we lose sight of our purpose as servants of Allah and fail to fulfill our duties to him. To combat the pitfalls of escapism and multi-screening, we must strive to cultivate greater self-awareness and discipline in our lives. This can be achieved by following simple protocols such as limiting our screen time, avoiding distractions while working or relaxing, 
and focusing on one task at a time. By prioritizing mindfulness and remembrance of Allah in all that we do, we can guard against the negative influences of escapism and lead more purposeful and fulfilling lives, inshallah. One of the greatest challenges we face in our modern lives is the constant bombardment of information and stimuli. With smartphones, social media, and streaming services readily available at our fingertips, it has become all too easy to fill our minds with endless content, leaving little room for contemplation and introspection. However, Islam teaches us the importance of moderation and self-discipline in all aspects of our lives. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Take benefit of five before five, your youth before your old age, your health before your sickness, your wealth before your poverty, your free time before you are preoccupied, and your life before your death. Sahih al-Bukhari. This hadith reminds us of the fleeting nature of time and the importance of making the most of our moments of leisure and relaxation. By prioritizing activities that nourish our minds and souls, such as reflection and contemplation, we can ensure that our time is spent wisely and productively. Daydreaming, often dismissed as a frivolous pastime, is actually essential for optimal brain function. It allows our minds to wander freely, activating different parts of the brain that contribute to creativity and problem solving. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him himself, would often retreat to the solitude of the cave of Hira for contemplation and prayer, seeking guidance and inspiration from Allah. By allowing ourselves the time and space to daydream, we can tap into our inner reservoirs of creativity and intuition, unlocking new pathways for growth and innovation. In our quest for productivity and efficiency, we must not overlook the importance of rest and rejuvenation. Islam emphasizes the value of balance in all aspects of life, encouraging us to prioritize our physical, mental and spiritual well-being. The Quran states, and we have certainly created man and we know what his soul whispers to him, and we are closer to him than his jugular vein, Quran 50.16. This verse reminds us that Allah is intimately aware of our innermost thoughts and desires, and it is through prayer and reflection that we can strengthen our connection with him. In conclusion, the modern lifestyle we lead can take a toll on our mental well-being, but as Muslims, we have the guidance of our faith to help us navigate these challenges. By prioritizing mindfulness, purposeful living, and moments of introspection and reflection, we can lead more balanced and fulfilling lives. Inshallah. May Allah grant us the strength and wisdom to make positive changes for our mental health and well-being. Ameen.